This was once the only place blacks could bank in Chicago. Illinois Service Federal Savings and Loan in Bronzeville. Monica Thomas has been with the bank for more than 30 years. The majority of our employees work and live in the same community. And so that means that we understand what goes on here. During the economic downturn, the bank would often make loans to help local families keep their homes. A lifeline for residents who've lost their jobs. That's been our mission. Um, that's been our legacy. And we just made up our minds that we weren't going to change that. But that help nearly caused the bank to run out of money. In dire need, Monica met the Endome family. Our main interest in this bank was to be doing something that really has an impact on the community. Which led them to invest in the bank and save it. Being able to provide some of the services that are still really needed in this community. Access to credit, mortgages, and just a place to go and get money that you may not be able to get without the presence of a black bank. These brothers, the new owners, are from Ghana, but were born and raised here in the Midwest. We are uh, young black guys we, from a black family-owned business. We can do business just like anybody else in any other sector, and we can inspire other people to join in and, and do the same. And the new owners of ISF Bank say that it is well on its way to being restored to its former glory. And by the way, it might be early out here this morning, but look who came out. You just saw her in the store. Monica, good to see you. Good to see and you. And she brought some of the staff from the bank with her. All out here to be on the show this morning. Live in Bronzeville, in your neighborhood. We're going to keep this party going. Much more coming up in just a little bit. We'll toss it back inside to you guys. All right.